pretend like Yeah, I brought that reefer You ain't about that pile What's up guys, it is Leah So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this finger coil Bouncy curly hair look for the winter time During the winter time, it is so hard to keep your curly hair moisturized Because curly hair is so prone to dryness So to get this look, I'm going to be using the Percaxi Nectar Hairline by Curl's Daughter I don't know how to say that We're really going to be focusing on moisturizing and finger coiling your hair Finger coiling just makes everything look much more neat and cute in my opinion I know not all hair types can do it, but mine definitely can If you have my hair type, this look could be perfect for you So all these products can be found in Sally's Beauty Supply so make sure you hit up your local Sally Beauty to get these products. And what I really like about these products is that it doesn't make your hair feel weighed down. That's something that I always look for in a product personally. Because my hair is curly, but it's also very soft curls. So I can't have anything weighing it down. I like when there's a little bit of volume. Especially with the curl styling gel that I'm going to use today. Anyways, let me stop babbling and let's get on with the video. So the day before this, I came back from the spa and my hair is very dry, so it needs some nourishing like ASAP. So I'm going to be using these three products by Carol's Daughter, the Percaxi line. I'm going to be using the Wash and Go, the Coin Custard, and the Style Control Gel. But first, I'm going to deep condition because my hair just needs some Jesus right now. So I'm taking some um, deep treatment. This is actually by Carol's Daughter. It'll be below. And I'm just running that throughout my hair and yeah, I'm just putting that in the areas where I feel is the driest and that's mostly like the crown of my head and I'm putting that in a bun and then I'm putting a little plastic bag over it just so that all of the ingredients can really soak up and I'm leaving that on for 20 to 30 minutes. So after that I just showered and now I'm going to be using the wash and go leave-in. This is like a leave-in conditioner and I feel like leave-in conditioner is just so important to use and this also reduces frizz and it makes sure that all the other products that you use after just really stays on. Always use leave-in conditioner. It can be a real leave-in or it could just be a regular conditioner but just always use one. This one smells like literal fruits and I love it so but yeah this just makes it really easy to style my hair and what I love about this wash and go leave-in is that there's a lot of slip which is really good because it makes your hair kind of wet and more moisturized so you don't really need to apply a lot of water I only applied a little bit just to kind of revamp my hair but I really like this one it's just really easy to use <laughs> And these were the results of using the leave-in on its own. I love it. My hair is not weighed down and it looks really moisturized. But now we're going to move on to the next step, which is using the curl twisting custard. And this is what we're going to use to finger coil our hair. This is going to make sure that our coils just stay put and that they're not frizzy. So first I'm just doing a half up half down because I love to section my hair before coiling it. And I'm applying that throughout like the bottom of my hair. And I'm just taking the parts that look the driest and I'm just finger coiling those. That's what I always do. I used to do my whole head but then I realized that I really don't need to. So I'm just taking the driest parts and I'm finger coiling those. the first product that we used and coil it and not put anything after but I just put another product because this really makes the twist just stay in place and not get frizzy and it dries the way that I twisted it it doesn't dry like bigger or frizzy so now I'm just taking it and I'm putting it again on the top section of my hair focusing on the driest parts which is important and then just finger coiling the parts that I feel need the most focusing the coiling custard on the top section of my hair because that is the part that everybody's going to see and I want that to be really light and coily and just bounce up. The last product I'm going to be using is a style control gel and I'm going to use this to scrunch my hair and I like this because it gives like touchable hold and it doesn't leave your hair feeling very crunchy or overly anything. So this is a good way to lock in all your products. If you have curls like mine, make sure you're very gentle with them because you don't want to manipulate them. So as you can see, when I flip it over, I'm not using my hands, I'm just simply twisting my neck. But yeah, these are the results and I love it and when I air dry it, it looks even better. Alright guys, so these are the results. I'm totally in love with it because my hair is still bouncy, it doesn't feel weighed down. And that's what I love about Carol's Daughter products because literally whenever I use them, they never disappoint because they're just perfect for curly hair. Once again, all these products can be found in Sally's Beauty Supply as well as more Carol's Daughter products. More. <laughs> so make sure you check that out. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below for more videos. And yeah, that was it for this video and I'll see you guys very soon with the video. Peace out, love you, bye!